Chances are you spent around a thousand dollars on a drone. You've gotten down flying it, but your pictures aren't looking that great. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your drone photos. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you in part by me. So today we're going to be focusing on drones and more specifically photos with drones and more specifically for this example drone pictures with water. But you can apply these same kind of rules and same kind of theory to when you're editing something let's say in a forest. Cut the crap Dean. Let's get into it. And we're over here. So as you can see here, we have a marvelous photo that was taken at Sunset Cliffs, the most beautiful place in San Diego that I've been. Wow. If you're going to San Diego, I highly recommend going to Sunset Cliffs. It is, it's, it's beautiful. It really is. So the first thing that I'm noticing when I look at this photo is that there's a lot of boring, bland colors. Um, and then there's also this green nastiness that is the water. I've got all the lantern presets and the one that actually goes really well with this is uh, the overcoming preset. It really kind of makes everything look all right but we can still edit off of that. So for this example I'm just gonna do this from scratch so y'all don't have to download anything. It's gonna be easy. We're gonna follow along. It's gonna be nice. So the first phase is going to be color correction so we're just gonna kind of make these shadows not so lost, all these weird colors, we're going to make them pop, look nice. Bring the shadows up a little bit, uh, bring the whites up even, um, blacks down a little bit to give it some contrast. Uh, and then I'm going to boost the clarity on this by, yeah, let's do 15. Okay, and the clarity makes it a little bit darker, uh, so I'm going to actually boost my highlights back up a little bit. All right, um, a little bit more vibrance because we are great. We are uh, we shot this on a pretty flat log. It's about 25, and let's do 15 for saturation. So already a, a big difference from before, after. So there's already a good foundation to what we're doing, but it doesn't look exactly right. And we're gonna fix this, and we're gonna make it look beautiful. So what I like to do with almost every single one of my photos is. Uh, make the blacks uh, not absolutely black. And then what we're actually gonna do here is we're going to increase the blacks um, on the tone curve here. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the tone curve, think of it like this. You have your shadows, midtones, and highlights. So as you can see here, the shadows are being crazy boosted here. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move the midtones up and brighten this image up a lot which looks good um, yeah that looks good too so just a little slight ramp here uh, can make a big difference here's the uh, before the tone curve after kind of gives it a little bit more washed out I don't know if that's not your style and you don't have to do that you can make it come down here so this is probably the most important thing for this that you're gonna need it's the HSL panel and that what that stands for is hue, saturation, and luminance. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this nasty green and make it blue. So just grab this little slider here and select the green and we're gonna drag it up to hmm, about there. That looks good to me. So then before, so it turns it from this green to more of a blue. And uh, what we're gonna do is actually make our greens kind of more yellow too. So we don't have these this green in here and uh, Instead we have, oh god, instead we have a, like more of an orangish yellow and it looks like it's, it could be sand rather than just nasty. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my blues and I'm going to make them a little bit teal so that these shadows here are going to look a lot more vibrant, happy, kind of easy going, <laughs> more teal than not. So with this photo, my highlights are basically right here and they're pretty yellow, so I'm gonna make them orange. So let's try that on for size. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Yeah, that looks nice. So this just takes a little bit of tweaking. 
kind of get that right. And then my shadows are what's going to be over here. Let's make them kind of a lighter blue. I'm going to make this really subtle because you don't want to really overbear it. So here's the before and after. It's a really subtle thing that we're doing here, but you can tell there's a slight difference in the colors and you'll notice it if you print it out. So then what we're gonna do is, um, doesn't seem to be too noisy here, so we're gonna uh, not touch uh, any of these. Uh, I'm gonna enable my profile corrections. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take away that wide angle warp on the edge, on the edge, on the ends. I was gonna say edges and ends and then set them both. Okay, um, and then get rid of that vignette. All right, um, let's see, okay, those are fine. Um, so now you're saying, well, this doesn't look right. What the heck is going on here? Uh, so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring up the shadows a little bit, and then what I'm gonna do is, since this isn't a flat image, uh, I'm gonna bring up my brush tool and increase the size of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit O on my keyboard so I can see what I'm drawing on. It's gonna come out as this red kind of Thing. And then I'm just going to draw over all the water here. We go here, bring it out to the end a little bit. And I'm going to get this little little crevice right here. Pretty cool, actually. A little, little crevice of water there. Okay, so I'm going to hit O on my keyboard again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, adjust the temperature. So this I'm going to make blue, essentially. So basically what we did was we took this brush right here and then we uh, colored it and then changed the color temperature. And I'm actually gonna bring up the shadows a little bit so you can bring it up over here on the water and you're not getting it that weirdly blown out. Um, it's already pretty saturated, but I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit more. I'm gonna do it to 10. Um, clarity too, just to give it a little bit more detail. I'm gonna bring that up to five by itself. The highlights are actually a little strong and I'm losing a little bit of detail here. So I'm gonna bring those down um, for this example. So this is the before and this is the after so far, but we're not done yet. So now looking at this, I'm like, okay, this can be a lot more exaggerated and bubbly and brilliant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the hue of this and I'm gonna make it more orange. So what I can do is I can select this and bring it down more. It's a little too orange. And then I'm gonna bring it over to the, so then I'm gonna click on the saturation panel and then I'm gonna saturate this more. So right there, it's a lot more vibrant than when it was before. I'm gonna play around with the hue a little bit to get a spot that I like that doesn't look too uh, fake really. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna bring up this, ooh, no I'm not. Um, I'm gonna bring up the blacks. I wanna keep the blacks down actually. And then what I'm gonna do is bring up the shadows, highlights, whites, the whites a little bit. So go back to my correcting. Okay, okay. So then I'm gonna actually revisit my brush right here and I'm gonna boost the, uh, the shadows a little bit more and I'm gonna boost the whites to kind of give this more pop to it. So I like this look a lot and I'm actually kind of happy with this edit. I would normally do more of like an, uh, a teal kind of look to the water but I like keeping it. Um, this blue, it kind of makes me happy when I look at it and it complements the orange really well. That was it, how long did that take? That didn't take any time at all. That was the easiest tutorial. So basically, with water, you're gonna need to brush it over and change the temperature. I think that's the biggest takeaway from this. Um, and then also working with um, two separate uh, entities here where we have the land versus the sea, you're gonna have to color each differently. <laughs> That rhymed, Jesus Christ. I hope that you all learned something and had some valuable takeaways from this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe and comment. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.